dear students in this module we are going to understand the risk technology environment and their interrelationship the conceptual intersection of risk technology and environment sociology illuminates how human activities and technological innovations impact our environment which in turn amplifies or mitigate the risk for society these risks are multidimensional and consequently having multiple effects on human life for example in pakistan the unregulated adoption of coal energy industrialization deforestation for urbanization and housing societies has been the major cause of increased air and water pollution so if we look at the pakistani society and its environment currently we see that there are multiple problems which are jeopardizing our future in a way that we see that how our future generations are going to survive in such a risky environment so the societal perception of risk that how our society perceives this risk whether they are very much conscious about it do they really feel or do they really understand that how risky their today's practices can be for their future generations so societal risk perceptions are shaped by the balance of benefits and potential harm associated with the technology and its impact on the environment आज हम बहुत सी टेक्नोलॉजी को यूज़ कर रहे हैं हम मोटर व्हीकल्स को यूज़ कर रहे हैं हमारे यहाँ इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन भी है और इसके साथ साथ हम ऐसी टेक्नोलॉजी यूज़ कर रहे हैं कि जिसके बड़े डायरिंग कॉन्सिक्वेंस हैं हमारे एनवायरनमेंट के ऊपर और कॉन्सिक्वेंटली जो है वो हमारी फ्यूचर जनरेशन को भी अफेक्ट कर रहे हैं तो हमें ये देखना होगा कि आज हम यूज़ ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी से एक कितना रिस्की एनवायरनमेंट प्रोड्यूस कर रहे हैं अपनी फ्यूचर जनरेशंस के लिए सो टेक्नोलॉजी एज अ डबल एच वर्ड विच इज टेक्निकल एडवांसमेंट्स कैन बोथ एग्जैसबेट एंड एलिविएट एनवायरमेंटल रिस्क्स। फॉर एग्जांपल, वाइल टेक्नोलॉजी इन पाकिस्तान टेक्सटाइल इंडस्ट्री कंट्रीब्यूटेड टू इंक्रीज प्रोडक्टिविटी बाई द सेम टाइम इट हैज ऑल्सो लेट टू इंक्रीज द वेस्ट एंड पोल्यूशन however recent investments in clean technologies or renewable energies demonstrate the potential for reducing these environmental impacts so we need to be very careful while adopting this technology that to what extent it would contribute to the environmental degradation so how the risk is producing the social inequality the distribution of environmental risk is often socially unequal or unequally distributed so we see that marginalized populations in pakistan are bearing most of the brunt of the consequences of these uh, these unregulated policies particularly kahin bhi kisi bhi ilake mein jab koi industry lagti hai to us industry ke jo residues hain wo unfortunately uske hawale se bahut si policies jo unme loopholes jo ke maujood hain तो उस अंदाज से रेगुलेट नहीं हो पाते हैं तो जो ग्राउंड वाटर है वो बहुत ज़्यादा डिप्लीट होता है डिग्रेडेशन होती है उसके नतीजे में क्या होता है कि जो सराउंडिंग की पॉपुलेशन हैं उनके लिए पोर्टेबल वाटर जो है वो मैसर नहीं रहता है तो वो नीड टू सी दैट टू वट एक्सटेंड वी आर प्रोड्यूसिंग वी आर ट्राइंग टू क्रिएट द इफेक्टिव पॉलिसीज एंड देन द रोल ऑफ पॉलिसी एंड रेगुलेशन the effective policy and regulation can help manage the triadic relationship of risk technology and our environment so pakistan's recent policy focus on planting 10 billion trees is a perfect example of proactive steps towards mitigating the environmental risks then we can see that whether oldrich backs theory of risk society can help us understand that how this triangular relationship of 
risk, technology and environment can be understood. So theory holds the relevance in the context where Ulrich Beck reflects that the modern societies are increasingly preoccupied with the future and also with the safety which generate certain kinds of risks. So this theory provides a better lens through which to view the industrial development in Pakistan, noting that how it is bringing the prosperity but also generating certain kinds of environmental risks. Another example could be the influx of automobile industry in Pakistan, particularly after the dawn of the 21st century. We see that the air pollution and smog have become a permanent feature of our urban life, consequently leading to various social, environmental, as well as health issues. And Giddens' concept of reflexive modernity can also help us understand that the current scenario, how it is important to understand that according to Giddings, the social practices are constantly examined and reformed in the light of incoming information about those very practices, thus constituting a system of control. So this concept has to be applied to Pakistani context as the country is continuously struggling to re-evaluate its technological practices in the light of their environmental impact. We need to have a better perspective through which we could be able to assess that how our practices are con being converted into the cost and benefit. Whether these practices are putting us into a more expensive future where our future generations are going to suffer or it these policies are creating a relative balance both for present as well as future generations. So we need to understand these concepts through this sociological lens.